I have the honor to introduce to you today five wonderful speakers who are experts in their field. And the first speaker today is Dr. Aman Paul. Uh, Aman is Director of Product Development and a wonderful and highly respected colleague here at Protex. He will share with you the latest on the antioxidant potential of insect proteins in pet diets. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aman Paul. I'm the Director of Product Development at Protex. Today, with this presentation, I will share the results of a recent study on antioxidant potential of insect proteins in pet diets. Here you can see the table of content. First, I'll tell you something about the background, then results and discussion. We will discuss also some commercial applications, and then finally, the key takeaways. On the bottom left, you can see the photo of our Bagan of Zoom facility, which is currently the biggest insect production facility in the whole world. On the bottom right, you see Your Excellency, the King of Netherlands, Willem Alexander, who came to inaugurate our facility in June 2018. Well, in this, in this slide, you will see basically the events that inspired us to do this research. Well, every now and then, we were continuously hearing from our clients that commercial products made using insect protein were helping the dogs and the cats to recover and reduce the stress. However, the exact molecular mechanism behind this effect was really unknown. On the left, you basically see the photo from one of our partners, Yora. It shows how a rescued dog recovered after feeding insect protein-based formula. We, we, we already knew, we already knew that our products Pure, Pure X, which is the fresh, fresh pasteurized meat of insect, Pure X Pro, which is hydrolyzed insect meat, and, uh, and protein AX Pro, which is carefully hydrolyzed fractionated insect protein, contain short chain, uh, short chain peptides. For example, Pure X contain two to 3% short chain peptides, basically the protein below 1000 Daltons, whereas Protein AX Pro contain up to 98% proteins below 1000 Daltons. These short chain peptides are known to have different bioactivities, also including antioxidant activity. In this slide, basically I'll explain you the mechanism behind the inflammatory damage in pets. Pets, including dogs and cats, have continuous contact with the surroundings by their tongues and hence they are exposed to a continuous pool of pathogenic microorganisms. When the pathogenic uh, bacteria or, uh, or other microorganisms enter the body of the pets, neutrophils, which are basically the white blood cells, rush to the site of infestation and initiate the defense by three mechanisms. First mechanism is phagocytosis, where neutrophils directly engulf the pathogens. Second mechanism is degranulation, where Neutrophils express reactive oxygen species that could destroy the pathogens. Third mechanism is via the release of NET. NET basically means neutrophil extracellular trap, where they release a, a lot of different reactive oxygen species and enzymes such as myelox peroxidase that could facilitate the production of reactive oxygen species. All these mechanisms are really crucial for the, for, for the defense of the host animal. However, continuous exposure to pathogens really leads to excessive production of reactive oxygen species that can react with the, with the cell components leading to their damage. Well, in long term, continuous exposure to my, uh, uh, in long term, the continuous exposure of react reactive oxygen species to the cellular component would lead to the development of health conditions such as accelerated aging, cognitive malfunctioning, etc. Dietary short chain peptides are basically known to stabilize this reactive oxygen species and could also be a solution to prevent the inflammatory damage in pets. In right, basically, you can see the reaction how peptides could neutralize free radicals. However, now the biggest question in front of us was can insect peptides scavenge those free radicals and prevent the dogs and cats from the inflammatory damage? In order to answer this question, we took a three-way approach. We investigated the antioxidant potential of insect peptides using three models. First model was basically the classical radical scavenging model. Second model was using the cellular approach where we use neutrophil cells to evaluate the anti-radical scavenging activity. Third approach was using the enzymes where we use myeloperoxidase enzyme extracted from animals to evaluate the anti-radical scavenging potential. This was really the first time ever that antioxidant activity of insect proteins was analyzed using cellular and 
enzymatic models. In this slide, you see the outcomes of the radical scavenging model. We used TPPH and ABTS, which are basically the two most commonly used molecules that are used in food and feed industry to determine the antioxidant activity of any given molecule. In top left and right, you see the mode of action of DPPH and ABTS. DPPH assay basically repre represents the ability of the peptides to donate hydrogen atom or electron to stabilize the free radicals, whereas ABTS assay indicates the ability of the peptides to donate electrons and stabilize the free radicals. In, bottom, in, in the bottom, you see two graphs. In these graphs, BSF APH stands for Protein AX Pro, BSF HP stands for Pure X Pro, BSF P stands for Pure X, CM stands for Chicken Meal, and FM stands for Fish Meal. For DPPH assay, you can clearly see that all the three BSF protein fractions that were used in the study have very strong anti radical scavenging activity, whereas Fish Meal and Chicken Meal have a clear pro oxidant activity in this assay which basically means that feeding chicken meal or fish meal in the diet of pets could even accelerate the inflammatory damage in pets. For ABTS, all the tested samples exhibit antioxidant activity. However, here, protein AX Pro and Pure X really stand out. They, they have the highest antioxidant activity in this assay. These results really indicate that insect proteins have a strong antioxidant potential. Going to the second model, model the cell-based model where we use neutrophils, to evaluate the antioxidant activity of the insect proteins. Basically, the reactive oxygen species that are produced by the stressed neutrophils, which are incubated with or without the test molecules, were quantified using L012 salt. Here in the, in the left, you can see the, the mode of action of this salt. So basically, when, when, when a reactive oxygen species go and interact with the, with the L012 salt, it goes in the excited stage and then it comes back to the ground stage. And at this time, it produces a chemiluminescence. So higher the chemiluminescence, higher is the damage from ROS. And basically what we evaluated was if the insect peptides could scavenge some of the ROS, the, chemilu the chemiluminescence will really decrease. So th 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 this was the mechanism of the test. In this test, we found that all the insect peptide fractions have a very strong antioxidant activity. In this assay, chicken meal had a pro-oxidant activity at the lower concentration. At higher concentration, it had very mild antioxidant activity. Going to the last model, the enzymatic model, here we use basically the myeloperoxidase that were isolated from neutrophils to evaluate the, 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 the ROS scavenging activity of the, of the insect peptides. In, 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 this, in this approach, two assays were realized. The CFED assay and the, classic, uh, the classical assay. CFED basically means specific immunological extraction followed by enzymatic detection assay. In this assay, the myeloperoxidase is complex with rapid polyclonal antibodies and the reaction mixture is basically boiled away. So it really measures the true ability of the peptides to complex with myeloperoxidase enzyme. In the classical assay, it measures the ability of the peptides to complex with myeloperoxidase or also to scavenge the reactive oxygen species directly. In, in, in both the assays, we found that insect proteins have a very strong ability to scavenge reactive oxygen species and complex myeloperoxidase enzyme. Chicken meal, uh, we, we also found that chicken meal and fish meal exhibit mild pro-oxidant activity in both the assays. Well, these results again indicate that insect peptides have a strong potential to scavenge reactive oxygen species that could lead to inflammatory damage in the pets. Now coming to the commercial applications. Pets could develop a large variety of inflammatory disease, including but not limited to, for example, accelerated aging, locomotor malfunctioning, cognitive malfunctioning, or reduced immunity. Ingredients such as chicken meal that are currently used in the pet food formulation, we, we found in our studies that could even accelerate the inflammatory damage and maybe accelerate even the disease occurrence. Insect proteins, we believe, and also the outcomes of this study, could be a natural and sustainable solution to possibly prevent such health conditions. So in, here are the key takeaways. Insect proteins contain short chain peptides that, have that may have antioxidant activity in order to evaluate the antioxidant activity of the insect peptides. We use the three, 
three uh, three way approach. First, we analyze the in, the antioxidant activity of the insect protein using classical rad radical scavenging approach. Then, using the cellular models and enzymatic models, it was found that insect proteins exhibit very strong antioxidant potential, especially to uh, scavenge reactive oxygen species that could cause inflammatory damage in pets. We also found that in some of the models, chicken meal and fish meal had pro-oxidant activity, which means they could be bad, bad for the consuming animals. Well, finally, what could be concluded from this study is insect proteins could be a natural and sustainable solution to possibly prevent the inflammatory damage, the, to possibly prevent the inflammatory damage in the pets. We are happy to say that we have already filed a patent regarding the antioxidant activity of the insect proteins. And this is my last slide, basically who, who we are. You already know me, you know my name and my employer. I'm an active researcher in the insect technology since 2013. Besides my responsibilities at Protex, I'm also the executive committee member responsible for the research activities at international platform for insects as food and feed. Here you can see the snapshot of my, my LinkedIn profile. I will be really happy to connect with you guys. Or in case of any questions, you can also contact me via email. You can see my email here. For this research, we basically uh, we basically partnered with uh, Center of React uh, Sector Center of Oxygen Research and Development, which is an integral part of uh, University of Liège. And this is all from my side. Thank you. I'll hope I I hope that you will enjoy the next speakers. Thank you, Aman. Uh, that was a great presentation. Um, and it brings about quite a lot of questions. I can see uh, several coming in. Um, some have already been answered in your presentation. Uh, let me have a look. Um, yes, this one, for, uh, for example. There is a question saying, are these products already uh, commercial? available. Thanks, Elselina, for putting the questions from the participants to me. Well, in uh, Purex is already commercial. Huh? This, this is one of the products that we are selling in Europe since last three years. Protein AX Pro is almost at the final stages of product development cycle. We aim to commercialize this product soon. And, and Pure X Pro is one of our future projects. Okay. And I, I see one other person say, uh, specifically asking, do, do you sell it in the USA? Not, not yet, huh? but we aim to do it soon. Wonderful. Then uh, another question, if these results are also relevant for fish? Well, indeed, yes. Huh? Neutrophils are also responsible for the pri primary defense in the fishes. Well, we even did a in vivo trials in fishes, especially rainbow trout. We are currently writing the manuscript of this uh, research, and you'll hear from us soon regarding the research on fishes. Okay, thank you. Um, then somebody here is saying uh, the study was done with an insect puree, but how would that translate to dried insect protein meal? Well, uh, puree X is, yeah, it's a wet product, and then we further process it into protein X. However, during the last 11 years, we have really optimized the production process so that we have really minimized the damage on proteins from the drying step. So, and, and this was really indicative also in our results from the in vivo trials that we used, uh, that we uh, did using fishes. So we also found antioxidant activity when protein meal, the flagship product was fed to fishes. Uh -huh. Then another question coming in uh, about uh, further heating. What would be the consequences of uh, further heating? Do you believe that further processing of pasteurized meat could suppress the properties? Well, uh, yes, it could actually, well, it depends. Huh? So we, here we are only talking about short chain peptides and short chain peptides are really the proteins that are really not uh, exposed to heating. So the longer peptides could indeed aggregate and then their activity is lot, lost, but short chain peptides, are uh, there's no effect on heating. And okay. also well, the heating process we have in the factory is really minimal. We ensure that the heat, uh, heat heating processing is really minimal. Then you mentioned the peptides. There's a question here that says, we saw a short chain peptides. Uh, can that bring any extra benefits? And also have you tested these effects? 
we i already discussed about the the antioxidant activity of the peptides it could come with some additional benefits for example antimicrobial activity flavor enhancement easy digestibility we already tested the digestibility and the flavor en enhancement potential currently we are working on the antimicrobial activity but indeed those ben uh, it comes with a package as so it's not just the antioxidant activity there are also other benefits linked to the peptides okay and then let's see we have time for one more final question um yeah what is uh, puree x pro and protein ax pro that you used okay so uh puree x pro is basically the hydrolyzed meat of insects and protein ax pro is one of the fractions that was first isolated from the insect and then hydrolyzed so puree uh, puree x pro is a wet product and protein ax pro is a dry powder both are hydroslates wonderful thank you very much uh, checking on the time uh, i see that we have to move to the next topic aman thank you very much Pleasure.